Hey guys, it's Spencer here with Temple Ozai, and today I'm going to teach you how to turn this to this. Stay tuned to find out. Alright, so I will be using Sony Vegas 13. That is this software here. As you can see, I have already got a clip on my timeline, which is this clip right here. Funny enough, it is the opening clip to the video you are watching right now, um, showing the transition of how I do the snap click to change into my background for my green screen. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do so with the clip I got. So let's do that. So first of all, start with your clip that you're going to use. Mine would be, it looks like this one here. Um, so this clip here is the one that I'm going to use to be cutting out um, my green screen. So as you can see, still a green screen still there. Um, this is a much, much longer clip as I was just kind of testing it. Uh, so we'll, so we'll go ahead and shorten it up here. Press S to chop the clip. Get rid of the other stuff. Click it. Get rid of it. Um, and we'll pull this into clip we'll be using next to the cursor, this thing here in which we'll be using. Okay, so next take your background clip or what you want to be your background um, that will become the green screen and drag that underneath it. For right now, I have it as this clip of Skeletor riding the dog from the nerve ending story or the meh thing. Okay, so as you can see right now, if I line it up, the clip, you cannot see Skeletor through my background. Um, so what I'm going to do is go up to Video FX, mine is right here click that go down to chroma key which will be right in between chroma blur and chroma balance or excuse me chroma blur and color balance um, go ahead and choose chroma key scroll down uh, you have options like blue screen green screen um, you know pure red screen pure green screen and what I like to use is pure green screen I believe it produces the best results um, Granted, I you know it by no means have I ever got it to be perfect. Green screening is rather difficult, especially if you're not using like a super super great camera. Um, but nonetheless, but nonetheless, this one does uh, pretty well for you. So I'll go ahead and drag it down there onto my clip, adding it. And as you can see, there you go. You you can kind of already start seeing the background through um, the clip where the green screen was. So now we're going to go ahead and drag this in here. This screen here, I know it looks gigantic. I apologize for that. Um, I use two monitors, so it kind of switches up the sizes on me a little bit if I try to drag back and forth. Uh, give me two seconds here. So this little thing, this little menu right here is going to be the controls for our uh, green screen. Um, the blur amount is going to you know, be your edges and this, that, and the other over your green screen. Um, the low threshold kind of helps get rid of the background a little bit. The high threshold makes this image right here, which would be me and the monitors, uh, stand out from the green screen. And I will show you exactly how that works. Um, but to do this, we already can kind of see how it works. But I, we're going to go to Show Mask Only. Click that. Um, and right here, you can see the white part is going to be the part that will be standing out from the green screen. Obviously, I'm tracing that right now with my mouse so you guys can see that. That will be the part that sticks out from the green screen. That's the part you want to be the strongest, um, and you want to be able to see a good old Skeletor there through the back of that the best you can. So you're going to grab this right here, the high threshold, grab that knob, drag down slightly to make it stand out the best you can from your background. Um, just kind of, kind of play with that knob there and kind of see where you can get it to be uh, the best. Funny enough, usually they say dragging it this way helps, but as you can see on mine, uh, that's not exactly the case because the camera I'm using. So we'll go right here. Um, and with the camera I'm using, uh, you kind of got to play with the settings a little bit. Um, I watched a video once that told me exactly what you should do with these two settings right here, uh, but I found that not to be the best case scenario with my videos, um, obviously because of the way in which I do it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this low threshold over slightly, and then I'm going to bring down the high threshold just a tad, kind of play with that until I can start seeing Skeletor the best I can here. Pull that, but now as you can tell, 
I'm starting to lose bits of my image here. Right straight through here. Um, so you got to kind of come play with your thresholds a little bit. Like I said, pull that threshold down a little bit. And you'll notice, see, I'm starting to kind of fall back out a little bit. You see? It kind of makes my image thick. So keep going. Oh, and I'm still keeping the image here. Skeletor is coming through pretty well. Uh, the image is still thick through here. No, not a whole lot of spacing. Uh, we're getting a little bit of blur right here, I'm guessing, just from the shadows. Which, you know, like I said, green screening is kind of tough. So, um, you know, it, it, I hate as much as, as the perfectionist in me gets upset, it's, it's hard to be perfect. Uh, so I'm dragging that low threshold a little bit. And as you can see, Skeletor is coming through there really, really good. This is a super thick image. Um, it's not losing thickness too bad, maybe a little bit right through here. Pull up that threat, or excuse me, pull down that high threshold just a tad. And it's fulling up my image there, okay. It's making it a little spotty up here. Pull over that low threshold, and boom. We got it pretty well disappeared. Um, now the bit you're going to notice is probably right through here, which is right along my monitor. Um, that will actually show up, unfortunately, when we're doing it. But then that's where this little beautiful option right here, blur amount, is going to come in. So next we're going to come down here to where it says show mask only. We're going to click off of that, and boom, look. I now have appeared over my image. Um, as you can tell, uh, I'm now showing through. I'm in front of Skeletor. Skeletor is behind me. Uh, looks pretty good there, so but we're going to still play with the things because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, so you're going to play with the knobs a little bit. Um, what I have found is if you bring the blur up to about 5, 6 area, um, it'll kind of blur some of those little mistakes that maybe you didn't catch, uh, you know, that maybe couldn't have been perfectly all warped, you know, like completely smoothed out. Um, it kind of makes that look a little better. It made my shadow again look like a shadow instead of just like a splodge. Um, but like I said, I'm going to kind of drag these still a little bit and try to kind of get rid of that. Because as you can see, I want you to pay attention to this area right here because it's going to slowly disappear a little bit. But what I've noticed is, is so does this area with my shirt. So the, the trick is going to be finding a good balance in there. And I think I may have found it. That ple That's pleasing. Oh, see? There it goes. Do you see that? Do you see this little area right here? Watch this. If I move this just a little bit, it's going to start losing my shirt. So we're going to drag it back till it looks full. See, there again, my shirt is full. Um, and it looks like we're pretty good there. Again, I'm gonna, I only got this to point 0.4 right now on the blur because the blur kind of bugs me. It kind of makes it look unprofessional. So I'll just kind of pull up the 5 and pray that that looks all right. Now I'm going to pull it back here just a little bit. And as you can see, just as I drag it, yeah, it looks good. It looks like I'm actually in front of the, the screen. It looks like that's my background. The one thing I just noticed is you do get a little dance right through here, uh, but it's not too bad. Uh, and like I said, you know, if you're a little bit more of a perfectionist than I, uh, you can maybe raise this blur a little bit to kind of help with that um, and raise your low threshold just a tad to get rid of that. But like I said, you know, you're going to start losing my, sh or excuse me, your, your little spots here. Um, and it might mess with it a little bit. So kind of pull down your high threshold and sometimes it can help kind of balance that out. But as you can see, pretty good, res pretty good result. Uh, I'm pretty pleased. Teach you how to turn this to this. So YouTube, as you can see, that's how you do a chroma key with Sony Vegas 2013. Important things are to remember is the show mask button, the low threshold is a B background, the high threshold takes care of the thickness of the front of the image that will be in front of the background of the chroma key, um, and the uh, chroma key option in your FX button. I hope you like this tutorial. I definitely plan on making more in the future. If you do, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel to see more videos, and share this video with your friends if you know somebody this video might help. Thank you for watching Temple Oza. This is Spencer. Deuces. Letters of the alphabet and the letter P, and start a movement to get rid of uh, no P signs. These signs are discriminatory, and I don't really feel comfortable with how they tell people that you can't be a P in that area. I'm not exactly sure how to go about living my life being a P and identifying with a P around those signs when it says,